Okay, so today is Wednesday and I'm beside the Rubin du Roi, the drainage ditch of the king, recording my Wednesday show on a slightly overcast Wednesday morning. I am going to be running out towards another branch of the canal that I ran on the other day with Norma. She is staying at, at the ranch, checking her email. There is a slight risk of rain. So today we're probably going to take a bus ride to Nîmes, which is 32 kilometers away from here. As you can probably tell, I'm running on chipped gravel. But it's more of a sandy colored gravel, not the granite that I'm used to running on, the granite chip. Bonjour. Merci. I'm just thanking a woman for getting out of my way with her shopping baskets. They seem to be pretty anti-plastic here. Even the produce bags that you buy your groceries in in the supermarket. Not the big ones, not the carrying kind, but the ones that you put three onions in to be weighed. Those bags are biodegradable. Everything else is like paper or cloth or woven. The baskets that they use as shopping baskets. Today, I have made the unprecedented move and have written down a few things. Bonjour. One minute, 21 seconds behind. A few notes. Hang on a second. I'm going to check. Check that I have the auto DJ mode on so I don't have to worry about the music. It'll continue to play. No I didn't. Now I do. I also have the uh, auto ducking which will mean that when there is sound coming in the music will be ducked. Alright, back at it. The list is in my pocket of topics. Distance 1.11 kilometers. Average pace 8 minutes 54 seconds per kilometer. Cadence 68. Workout average pace 9 minutes 1 second per kilometer. I heard that. Considering I walked the first half a kilometer to the bottle bank. They have these large bins where you're throw, supposed to throw your wine bottles in. I already touched on the topic of the green nature of Arl. There is another topic which might not be quite so popular with some of my North American listeners. Arl is run by a communist municipality. It's one of the few cities in France that has been a PCF, a staunch PCF municipality. Parti communiste. 
<laughs> they have a lot of socialist leaning uh, legislations here. But I guess in a democracy, you have to go with the vote of the people. It doesn't really make a huge difference on the street. Well, probably on the street it does. There are many, many, many people working One minute, in, seconds behind. in city clearance. Lots of jobs for the working man. Keeping the streets clean. Probably a pretty good job in Arl. They seem to collect the garbage here very often, having so much of their income dependent on uh, tourism. So I'm now on the main canal, heading out towards the willow trees. Well, there's one big willow tree on a corner, on a bend, and Norma and I have seen a magpie every time we come here. So today's episode will be named in honor of that magpie, the magpie and the willow episode. As I get to a blue bridge across the main canal, hence the traffic, there are a few places to cross. I hope to be in positive territory pretty soon in terms of minutes ahead or behind. So let me think, the topics. I stuffed the crib sheet that I wrote on the back of a napkin, literally, in my back pocket. Let's see what I have written down here. So I've talked about the recycling. Oh yeah. The day before yesterday, we took the bus to Saint Marie de la Mer, a 30, almost a 40 minute bus ride from the center of Arles out to the beach. You might have seen my pictures of my slideshow from the beach, from the Mediterranean. That is where we also saw the flamingos on the Camargue. One minute, six seconds behind. Distance 1.85 kilometers. Average pace, six minutes, 45 seconds per kilometer. Cadence 83. Workout average pace, eight minutes, six seconds per kilometer. It's getting there. I think I set 7.30 as my average pace as I negotiate a woman with a beagle. Bonjour. Good dog. Good dog. The dog lunged at me. He was on a very long rope. One of those dragging tether type leashes. Yep, the beach was nice. The flamingos were quite impressive, but apparently they become more pink depending on how much crayfish they eat. They were sort of half pink. Some of their wings were tipped 
and their lower bodies like they were half filled with pink. I'm now on the gravel by the canal on the towpath. This would have been a towpath. There are no trees on the canal side of the path. There are two buses this time of the year into Santa Maria de la Mer this next two week period two buses in and two buses out there's an early bus that gets you in for around eight o'clock and there's the more popular noon 15 bus from the station at Arles to the bus turnaround at St. Marie de la Mer. So once you're in, then you have to wait till five o'clock to get the bus back, which gives you enough time to have lunch or a picnic on the beach and then walk your way back to the bus stop for the five o'clock to get you back to Arles. When we took the bus on Monday, we noticed there were no school kids. This time of the year, the buses are carrying school kids because they're on their two-week Easter break. As a predominantly Catholic country, they really celebrate Easter in a big way. All will be chock-a-block with tourists here for the feria, as they call it, where they will be holding a bullfight in the amphitheatre at Arl. Just half a block from our house. It's going to be swarming with Japanese tourists. They absolutely love... What's his name? Vincent Van Gogh. Biggest collectors of Van Gogh are in Japan. Some of the most expensive of his pieces are owned by Japanese businessmen. They are also quite keen on the Spanish type bullfight, which is not normal for this part of France. They import gypsies and toreadors to fight the bull to the death. We have chosen to leave all that gory stuff behind and take a bus ride. Time for hydration. 20 minutes in and I see the willow tree. I'm almost down to my target pace. So I'm going to start a little bit of hiking here and I will check on what's going on. Excuse the noise. as if I'm 14 minutes in and all is well. As I slide the device back into the sock. Talking of gypsies, 
yesterday a group of three or four women, old, very dark, leather-skinned women, got on the bus. They had obviously been panhandling in Arl the night before. This was Monday morning. So they were going with the rest of us to Saint-Marie de la Mer to do some more panhandling. But they have this weird technique where they tend to hold your wrist touch you which is kind of spooky because once they make contact with you that is when they might be going for your valuables it's definitely a hands-on approach to panhandling they I guess are playing on the idea that they're trying to feed or feel your vibrations something that will give them an idea of your future and then I guess they would expect some kind of money if they haven't taken your watch this could be a little unfair on the gypsies in general but we have been warned about theft. I get back to a little bridge where I will join very briefly the road system. This is where yesterday we saw a middle-aged French woman running up and down a hundred meter stretch of the canal just there she was doing some kind of high intensity interval training and Norma got her into conversation about this and she said that she was entered in a race in July nine seconds behind a big race she didn't say where but she said it was hilly, and I guess in July it would be pretty darn hot. So this side of the canal is a little more overgrown, but there is a track which I shall take, if only briefly, until I get my warning to turn around, at which time I will check on my recording. The grass is rubbing my legs on both sides. It's a single track and my shoes are beginning to pick up the morning dew from the grass. As I check my crib sheet. Distance 3.31 kilometers. Average pace 7 minutes 25 seconds per kilometer. Cadence 77. Workout average pace 7 minutes 32 seconds per kilometer. 7.32. So two more seconds and I'll be bang on pace. So what we're tending to do is we're doing... There's the magpie. We're doing our... Uh, right on the other side by the willow tree. It's probably the same bird. We're doing our combined runs, Norma and I, on the nice sunny mornings. She is one of those people that can't have breakfast before she goes running. I can have a large cooked breakfast, which I did this morning and before I ran. But that is because I trained my body to do this. This long grass is going to slow my pace down a little bit, but I'm hoping that pretty soon the path will get a little wider. Ah, there's a wild cat running up the track. 
ahead of me an orange cat, a marmalade colored cat. What I will do at my turnaround point is come back along here. Yep, I now see dirt. It's wide enough for my shoes to dry off a little bit. So we do our runs in the morning. If there's a risk of rain, I will run by myself like I am today. And then later on in the day, I might get talked in to running with Norma. So stay tuned, that might still happen. I'm running into the wind now. Here, the wind is very critical as to the temperature and the feels like factor. Let me see how I'm doing in terms of 45 minutes. My outing is timed for 45 minutes today as we've managed to rack up four hours so far. So at the moment I'm at 21 minutes of recording time. 22 just now and in terms of running I'm up to 28 which is 46 so I probably missed my halfway to my goal yep I have done 28 and I think Norma told me that half of 45 was uh, 22 and a half. So I've gone six minutes over the odds, which means I will be stopping six minutes earlier. So which means I can probably continue in this direction because the Blue Bridge is coming up where I have an option to cross the canal. So as I continue, my progress along the other bank of the canal. I will meditate briefly. In fact, what I'm doing is making a mental calculation, which I won't bore you with. I did hear some sort of chirping close to where the traffic noise was kind of loud. I probably missed the details. But this should be perfect by the time I get to the bottom of the cobblestones. Seconds behind. Distance 3.89 kilometers. Average pace 8 minutes 33 seconds per kilometer. Cadence 69. Workout average pace 7 minutes 41 seconds per kilometer. 7.41. I can make that up quite easily as I check my list. So, the uh, I mentioned the running woman, I mentioned the communist, I mentioned the bus ride, I mentioned that we might be taking the bus to Nîmes this afternoon. That's about 32 kilometers from here. The buses are incredibly cheap. For one euro, you can ride for 40 minutes in a very comfortable coach-like bus with seat belts to boot. I have enough time to talk about Chromecast, a system where you can send your uh, whatever you're watching on your phone or your tablet to a TV with a compatible system. Last night we were trying in vain t 
to uh, send a movie with Glenn Close called The Wife, which we both thoroughly enjoyed. Excuse me. Norma was pleased to see Glenn Close, a mature woman, probably the same age as my wife. Hello. I'm going to try and negotiate. Bonjour. Bonjour, cher. Bonjour, cher. Je suis un ami. C'est pas sérieux. Je suis votre ami. J'arrive. He's now running ahead of me. No master in sight. As long as he doesn't think I'm trying to attack him, he is now pulling away from me. Happy at play as he streaks away. I wish I could run that fast. Anyway, I'll meet him again. He's turning back every now and then to see what I'm up to. But I guess I posed little threat to him with his teeth and claws. All right, so this movie is about a writer, a writer who made his fame on a book that Glenn Close helped him finish. She was his student. He was the creative arts, creative writing professor. And she fell in love with him because of his eloquence. He invited her out, but he wanted her to be babysitting their child. He was in a loveless marriage. So she, after initially getting all excited about going out with her professor, that she had a huge crush on, found out that he just wanted her to be the babysitter. Anyway, it rushes back and forward between them as young lovers to now as he gets a phone call in the middle of the night to say that he has won for his oeuvre his what's it called now his body of work the Nobel Prize for literature and they're invited to fly to Stockholm where they proceed to be taught all about average pay seven minutes thirty seconds per kilometer cadence seventy four workout average pay seven minutes thirty nine seconds per kilometer seven minutes then where they get given their instructions as to how to receive the award from the King of Sweden in Copenhagen. Or wherever Sweden is. I'm going to cross over to the other side again. because the path is narrowing out again and my shoes are still damp. Anyway, it transpires that said author was not particularly talented. He was good with his ideas, but his characters needed fleshing out and his student did most of the work for him, ostensibly 
as a proofreader, but in fact she was writing the details of the story. So this was a secret held close to their chests. They did not want the world to know the truth behind the partnership. Anyway, obviously he divorced his wife, married Glenn Close, and they set up their writing partnership. And uh, basically what happened was that his the truth behind who had written the books came out not into the general public but to the people that mattered his estranged son who was a writer who wanted nothing but his father's approval for his writing and he never got it anyway the guy had a massive heart attack and died just after receiving the medal from the king King Gustav of Sweden anyway it's a very good film I hope I haven't spoilt it for you I didn't in fact watch the movie I listened to it we were watching it in bed and uh I had closed my eyes at the stage, but I followed the storyline. Once you have placed the voices to the characters, it's quite easy to follow along. And now back on the Rubin du Bois, heading towards the Tunnel of Love, listening out carefully for the end of the run or the end of the recording anyway let me just double check on how things are going excuse me while I do this unfortunately I have it still on night mode 1 minute 12 seconds behind so it's kind of hard to read. So 33, yep, 33 minutes recorded so far. And the music has almost ended. We're into the chirpy forest to tune. And then we'll have Ambler, which will be my cue to say goodbye so getting close Glenn close bloody close to Glenn close bloody close to the closing of this episode about Glenn close and I think I have covered most of the topics on my napkin here Avignon that's the other thing Distance 5.08 kilometers. Average pace 9 minutes 45 seconds per kilometer. Cadence 59. Workout average pace 7 minutes 52 seconds per kilometer. Oh, I've been Time slacking. Better speed up. Sous le pont d'Avignon. That's a song we learned at school in French. Some of you probably know that I did my schooling in England where every schoolboy has to learn French. La plume de ma tante. Every schoolboy has to learn certain songs. As I run past a wisteria bush hanging over a wall, I can almost see the tunnel from here. As I have dropped off the pace, I won't stop to take any more pictures. There will be one that I took of some horses in a field by the canal. 
I can almost see the spire, but now I can see it, of our church. The one that we live within a hundred meters of. In fact, we live equidistant from the church of Santa Marie de la Mayor and the amphitheater, about less than a hundred meters either side of us. So, there you get the movie recommendation. Almost all of my notes on my napkin have been discussed. I hope you have enjoyed this episode as I meditate just a little bit more until I hear the end of this 36 minute extravaganza which will be my midweek show this is Carlos the running jackal running solo in France There's another map. There's a huge amount of fig trees here in Arles. Could well be the fig capital of France. I'm sure you wouldn't be able to buy figs out of season here. As I step over the dike wall, take one look more, one more look at the Geary building as I enter the tunnel of love. A little acoustic treat for you. There is a street market today. As I wind my way through it, there's a man selling paella. I'm almost to the foot of the stairs that will take me back up to my loving wife and a change of clothes. Let me see how we're doing for recording. I'm a little leery about running through a street market in case they think I've just stolen something. Okay, so today we ran a little long here, so I will say goodbye to you. With 40 minutes on the clock.